Dillo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live anymore because my Twitch was tweaking. I don't know what's going on with it. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. We just started Fresh Meat on here. And we just started doing votes for the next opening slot for shows. So come join, man. It'd be worth it. And then don't forget, we have the Discord as well. So you can leave your request. And this is uh, Try Not to Cry. Paramedic breaks down after a horrific road accident. Ambulance. This is on Real East channel. I don't even know if they're going to let me post this, but we'll try. Where are we, guys? Where are we? Just a quick brief. Where are we? 114 emergency service personnel are now at the scene of the crash. Medical teams. 114? What type of crash was this? Focus on the two critically injured patients from the taxi, while fire crews continue to work on getting the driver out. How many more people have we got coming to this area? One at the minute. One that's in the taxi. So this is ready for this one. Yeah. Right over there. No. Right. Katie and Nick prepare to take the patient trapped in the taxi. Right, let's get BVM. And I'm not gonna lie. I always thought like being a firefighter was lit. Like, not literally, but like figuratively speaking. Like, I think it was a cool job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you see a lot. I know you see a lot of tragedy, but like, you a real hero. Like every day you go to work. You can legitimately, if you wanted to call yourself, hey, I'm a hero. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool with me. Everything out ready. Okay. I want somebody to take charge in the ambulances, turn them all round, okay? One of my boys from Chicago, he's a firefighter. His name is Justin. He got a Twitch too, man. It, it be, it's, it's called The Kid Justin or something like that. But yeah, man, he's a firefighter, man, and I salute that, man. I ain't never told him that I salute that type of behavior, but it's definitely salutable. Check breathing, check pulse, straight over there. Just be ready. Have you got him hooked up? He's hooked up now, yeah. Okay. Until they can get the patient out of the taxi, the crews have put a heart monitor on him to keep check of his vital signs. Hey! Don't start me. That's some good tequila, but don't start with... Oh, I can't skip. They put a 15 non-skipper on me. That's tough. Yeah, we've got a, a monitor on him. He's asystole. He's looking at his injury. He's saying he's incompatible with life. Definitely. 100%. Just confirm. Fine. OK, so step back from that. Pick up your kit. Wait, what's happening? I've got uh, heart paramedics in this vehicle now. Our state in the adult driver of the taxi. His injury is incompatible with life. They're confirming a roll on that patient, we see. Thank you to confirm. I have times four adults deceased at scene so far. Damn. I have a further two adults at my CCP, full resuscitation being action. All focus is now on the two patients in cardiac arrest. Okay, so a fluid challenge, if he remains there still, it's just like we don't move, okay? It's a fluid challenge, that's it. Can yeah. you manage that? Yeah. What show is this? This is amazing, this show. But like this, it's unfortunate what's happening, but this is a good show. do not lose that airway, it's very okay. difficult. This is called Ambulance, let me try to watch it. That's fine. Okay, I need to do it. Fluid challenge, maybe, yeah. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Okay. I can stop. It got to be hard being a paramedic on days like this, too. You lost four. 
then you're trying to resuscitate two, and you're doing everything in your power. And, and, and at a certain point, like, you got to feel like it got to cross your mind, like, I can't help him. It's my fault. But then you got to think, like, it's not my fault. I'm trying. I call it all I can do. But, like, going, like, doing this type of job and then going back to your everyday, like, like going to go eat dinner afterwards is, like, crazy to me. Shout out to paramedics, too. Like, firefighters and paramedics, I grouped them under the same thing. So when I said that earlier, I meant them, too. Okay, he does have a low volume pulse. Okay, so keep going with the fluids, he goes. Four, four, five, two. You guys are taking this patient. Keys are in the truck. Thank you, just an update then. We are moving one casualty, adult male, from our CCP to Gui. Four, four, five, two is the vehicle with Moak Delta 9A Epcot with massive blood loss. He needs the massive hemorrhage protocol, please access it. Ready, set, move. Nice and slow, guys, nice and slow. Okay, I want some fluids going in, please. With an ETA of six. Innocent people losing their lives, like, will get me, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, some people, you know, the innocent people. Six minutes Sorry. into the QE. Details all received. Come in, everybody. QA. Hi, I've got a further patient coming to you. Another one, okay. Yep, so we've got one adult male. Yeah. With massive blood loss. Oh my god. He's currently in a low flow state in traumatic cardiac arrest. Okay. Clearly we need the massive hemorrhage protocol activating and blood hanging on arrival. Like this show, my heart is beating fast enough. <laughs> like I can feel my heart beating. What show is this? They're moving. It's called ambulance. I'm on the cardiac arrest now to the QA. Major blood loss. Oh, God. Yeah. Fluids back up. Just coming around the back of the QA now, guys. Okay. Five, five, go ahead. Five, five, thank you. Just to confirm the second adult female that was at the CCP has been confirmed recognition life extinct 0206. Oh, God. All received. What does yeah, that mean? Thank you. She didn't make it? So only one person out of the six? Hi, QE, it's Aiden. Um, on the trauma desk, all, all the other five have been confirmed as C-STAT scene. So okay. you won't be getting any more major trauma patients. Thank you very much for all your help. Thank you, bye. Are you single and tired of cancelled plans? That gotta be heartbreaking. Because they are doing all that, you know what I'm saying, to try to make it happen for it, but it's like... What happened? What was the accident? Like... I'll tell you one thing, I'm never going to look at that road the same and I'm never driving fast down that road again. So it's like on some speed and stuff? See, this is why I don't like people playing with my life when I'm in their car. Like, go to speed limit or go, like, what's the point of going 90 in the 60? Like, what are you doing? Who are you racing? What time? Limit, are you losing money? Like, what? Like, I got a daughter, stop playing with me. Going, to, oh, going fast, going 90 and a 60, me and you will fight. I promise you. We might get into it. Like, we'll get into it bad. Like, that's 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 me. I wouldn't be your friend no more. Because you're not worried about my life. You're not worried about my daughter having a father at that point. Like, I could, well, we couldn't even rock together no more. Like, that's the one thing. Like, don't play with my life when I'm in your car, bro. Let me drive. Yeah. Five, three. 
Okay. Um, you guys all right? No. Um, no, not great at the minute. Thank you, though. No problems. Um, I'll take you off to job, so obviously you're going to get the sundown message. Um, I'll be on downtime, obviously, uh, just... I shall, uh, get over and let us know when you guys, uh, send your debrief. Yeah, brilliant, thank you. Don't worry, thank you. When you experience something traumatic, your brain is just stunned and it doesn't quite know how to process it. It's just like an absolute blast of, of white noise and energy, just utter mayhem, and then it's... Yeah, then it's just stillness. Pull over! That's when you start to think about it, and that's when it, it begins to set in. I just really want my mom. That's deep. That's deep. I just want my mom. I just really want my mom. That's deep. Cause I remember when I went through like some trauma. When I when I got jumped, I told y'all about the story when I got jumped. And the doctor said, literally, afterwards, he told me, hey, if you wasn't drunk, you would have died. <laughs> but liquor didn't save my life, and I didn't turn my back on liquor. That's crazy. I don't be drinking like that. But, like, that's what I said when I got drunk. I was like, hey, man. When I was in the ambulance. Not when I was, you know, you know. But, like, you be calling for your mama now. Don't worry about it now. I'm trying to hold it together. Mum? Hi. Um, I've just had a really bad job. Um, just been to um, a multi-car RTC and there was most of the people were dead. And we had to work on two others. <laughs> Sorry for waking you up. It was really, really awful. Yeah, I seen the car. The car was burning up. Like, it gotta be bad. Five, five. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think five. I think another two might probably die. I and they were quite young. <laughs> I just want to come home. I don't want <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, bye. I called my mum, she's still asleep, I think. Can we get through? It's so important knowing you're not alone. Everyone's feeling the same. It's okay and it's normal to feel awful. PTSD is extremely common. It's even more common in the emergency services than it is the army. If you're going to have a prolonged career in uh, in the ambulance service, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about people in uh, those type of jobs having PTSD. But yeah, it makes sense. Every day, are there any good days? No, I don't. I don't believe so. You need to keep yourself in check. You get a call, you know you're going to something potentially bad. You need to know when you're reaching burnout, when to reach out to people, when to talk. That's tough. TLO, leave a like, comment. I'm gone, man. I held it together, though. RIP to those who lost their lives in this one.